hey guys welcome back to my channel today i want to share with you my experience at the gt bank fashion week in 2018. gt bank is a major bank in nigeria supporting small and medium enterprises by creating this huge event where um, business owners can kind of come together network shop eat drink and learn from a master class and in 2018 they brought j manuel and i learned a lot from this event so i just stumbled on my notes and i thought why not share with you guys j manuel is very popular from america's next top model and he shared a few nuggets see for yourself <laughs> Let's dive in and take a look at this Insta world we now live in, where we portray our lives on social media platforms through carefully curated and filtered photos. By representing ourselves this way, we are moving away from communicating who we really are. And I read and listen to people all the time on social media giving them away their power by crowdsourcing their style instead of self-sourcing it. You know, what they'll do is they'll put up four hairdos and say, well, which one should I get? Or they'll swatch five lipsticks and say, well, which one should I wear for that hot date tonight? Or that casting? Or that interview? Crowdsourcing your image does more than giving, giving away your power. What it does is it takes you further away from your own truth. And it's time that we take back that power and get on the path to you. I always say beauty, it's deeply personal, purely individual, and yet surprisingly public. And we all need, if you think about it, the way we present ourselves to the world should be a reflection of who we really are. I always say, you know, honor where you come from, but you do have to be you. And that's not a disrespectful thing, I feel, for any culture. You really have to bring innately just that thing that makes you you to the table because that's what's going to really thrust you forward and so what i've learned from working with such amazing talent you know, throughout my whole career is that those people have reached a point where their their dream for success surpasses their fear of failure for me what i did and what i encourage everyone to do is just to remember one thing you know, as I said before, the past is really just a story you tell yourself. Remember that the present moment is the only thing that exists. Now you've been quoted as saying there's no such thing as hype. Can you explain that? Hype is something that doesn't exist at all. It's not actually real. If you do create a big brand and become a huge success, you have to remember that the hype around that isn't really you. It's not for you. And so you don't want to fall for hype because it's not a real thing. Because when you do, and then the opposite happens, because even if you're a genius designer, you might get a bad review or what have you. You know, if you're tied into that emotionally, it's going to tear you down. So it's about keeping that balance. So you keep the brand of you here, and then you know who you are. So you have to keep that separate. Because every time I wanted things to be perfect, it would get worse. And I realized that I was using my perfectionism as armor so people couldn't find fun with me. And that isn't even logical because you can't please anyone ever. And with early reality TV in its infancy, people said to me that I was going to be throwing away a very legitimate career in fashion for something that wouldn't last one or two seasons at best. So after doing 18 seasons of America's Next Top Model, it is syndicated around the world in over 150 countries. And it made me a household name. And it, thank you. Thank you for watching. Of course, I couldn't share the entire masterclass, but I hope you were able to get some nuggets. Look in the description box for my blog. I share some tips from my notes as well from the same masterclass. Thank you so much for watching and for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you soon. Bye.